And so when someone says, what is Ramadan like this year? A lot of our religion is putting ourselves in different situations than the one that is obvious to us around us. Dear brothers and sisters, this Ramadan, I have a challenge for yourself and for me. I want you to wake up every single morning in Ramadan and not just make dua for your brothers and sisters in Gaza and try to appreciate the blessings that you have. I want you to wake up every single day of Ramadan, 29 or 30 days. And after you praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, الذي أحيانا بعد ما أماتنا, the one who gave us life after death, I want you to say, what if I just woke up in Rafah? What's on my mind right now? What's in my heart right now? What is a person waking up in Rafah right now seeing? And how can I be there for them? As your day goes on, what am I reading? What am I thinking about? What are my priorities? Every moment of the day in Ramadan, don't just try to perceive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you should through the worldly existence around you. Try to perceive light through the eyes of your brothers and sisters and it should not be that hard because you are seeing them constantly in their suffering. You've probably been more exposed to their suffering now than you were ever before to anybody else. What is it right now in Rafah? If I'm breaking my fast, if I even have bread in Rafah, how am I breaking my fast? What am I doing in Gaza with the airstrikes falling upon me? What type of devotion am I having when I'm reading Qur'an? Because I can tell you, by the way, that despite everything that is happening to them, mark my words, they will be praying tarawih, even with the airstrikes. Mark my words, they will be asking questions about how to fast, even if they have nothing to break their fast with. Mark my words, they are thinking about how to find Laylatul Qadr, even though they don't know if they're going to live to see another night. And none of us truly know. But with death so imminent, they're still thinking about catching Laylatul Qadr. You are going to see the images of ibadah, of worship coming out of Gaza. This will be a different Ramadan for them, and it has to be a different Ramadan for us too. When COVID hit a few years ago, everyone talked about the COVID Ramadan. And how do you find Ramadan in your house without the community spirit? This time, I'm telling you to find Ramadan with an ummah that is so overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly in pain that it is in the emergency room. How are you finding Ramadan in the ER right now as an ummah? You're, you've got to think about it differently. And when you force yourself to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala despite that pain, knowing that your pain is not as great as their pain, then I want you to imagine the hadith of the Prophet in Sahih Muslim, that Ma'qir ibn Yasar radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-ibadatu fil harj ka hijratin ilayya. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in hard times is like making hijrah to me, is like migrating to me. And the scholars mention so many best blessings from that. The first one being because the good deeds are more when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through pain. And if you are voluntarily enduring emotional pain and suffering because of your brothers and sisters, and you're worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that pain and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to relieve them of that pain, then that is far greater than your comfortable worship. I want you to think about the things you were asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for last Ramadan and what will you be asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this Ramadan if your heart and your mind are in the camps in Rafah? What are your priorities in your dua this Ramadan? And shouldn't your duas provoke more tears this year than your duas did last year? Dear brothers and sisters, it's a different Ramadan for us and it has to be a different Ramadan for us. And on an individual level, it has the potential to actually be the most spiritual Ramadan of your life. Don't waste it. Don't waste it away. Take the emotions that you have this year and turn them into a Ramadan that you've never had before by imagining every day that you are having Ramadan in Rafah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alleviate the suffering of our brothers and sisters in Gaza and our brothers and sisters all over the Ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow this special month to bring special victory. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow the istighfar, the seeking forgiveness of our sins all around the world be a means of alleviating the pain from our brothers and sisters in Gaza. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow our worship and our du'as to be accepted and to be a means of benefit for them 
and a means of benefit for us as well in the hereafter. Allahumma amin. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ala al-muslimin. Fa astaghfiru innahu wa ghafur rahim.